For me, uh, paleontology uh, was something that fascinated me right from the beginning as a six-year-old. I opened up a box of cereal and there was a dinosaur, plastic dinosaur, and uh, that started me on my career looking for dinosaurs. But uh, the real transition point uh, came when I was 11 years old and I read a book by Roy Chapman Andrews called All About Dinosaurs. And what it was all about was not just dinosaurs, but it was about what it was like to be a paleontologist. How you would go in the field and look for fossils and then you would spend your winter months doing research on them and that kind of thing. And, and the whole idea of the thing fascinated me so much that the day I read the book was the day I decided I'd be a paleontologist. We didn't know this is where the bone bed was. In 1910, Barnum Brown floated down the Red Deer River to um, basically look for dinosaurs. He knew there were dinosaurs here, but he had no idea what he would find. The very first place he stopped and had a big success uh, was right here. And uh, in this area, he found parts of nine skeletons of Albertosaurus in 1910. He never published on them. We had only one good photograph that we could work with to refine the site. And uh, as luck would have it, uh, I happened to be in the right place, the right time, and turned the right way. I was so excited that uh, I had found where the photograph was taken, that I rushed back to camp. What I didn't realize is that all around my feet were all these dinosaur bones that Brown had left behind. So here we are a century later, and uh, there's still good information coming from this bone bed. Uh, roughly 70 million years ago, uh, it appears that a herd of Albertosaurus, or pack of Albertosaurus, were in fact uh, uh, collected together in some kind of a hunting group. At the moment, we have about 20 individuals that have been recovered from this bone bed. And uh, what the fossil and geological evidence tells us is that those 20 individuals died together. The oldest Tyrannosaur we have now is a Tyrannosaurus rex specimen that died when she was 28 years old. Uh, the oldest Albertosaurus we have from this bone bed was 24 years old when it died, and it was a very big animal. Dinosaurs, uh, of course, fascinate people for many different reasons. Uh, dinosaurs dominated the world for about 150 million years, and you, you wonder what it was that made them so successful. Uh, I think to a lot of other people, it also uh, brings out our own vulnerability. Uh, if dinosaurs dominated for 150 million years, and we've only been around for a couple of million years and we're screwing up the world so bad, uh, what are our chances? Uh, so there's a lesson to be learned by studying, say, the extinction of dinosaurs, and that's part of the fascination as well. It's uh, wonderful to be a vertebrate paleontologist, and um, it's amazing that uh, even after all these years of people hunting for dinosaurs that we can still make brand new discoveries.